Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds Insides. So it's a Battle Beers Day, and this is battle number two. Uh, we're going to put High Res from Six Point up against Hop Slam from Bells. Uh, high Res comes in at 10.5, 115 IBU, and Hop Slam is 10% with 70 IBU. Uh, we've had both, and this one is a lot easier to get than Hop Slam. Hop Slam only comes out once a year, obviously, so you can get it when it's there, but uh, it's not year round. Whereas High Res, you can pretty much get um, year round, and we thought it would be nice to put them up against one another. At least in our area, you can get High Res a little bit better. They're they're both similar style beers They're, they both have some honey sweetness to it so we just want to see how they compare and it's funny this year uh or excuse me last year trying to get hops like again relatively new so i don't know how it was in the past but last year was the first year i actively sought out getting hop slam and our local the main our local beer store was gone i like sold it out in 24 hours mm -hmm. and i ended up finding like a couple uh, six packs elsewhere, like smaller places. You got more than a couple last year. Yeah, well, you, you hoarded it. <laughs> I did. But then I ended up just wasting a bunch of it because you can't drink a lot of that. But anyway, I gave away it to some friends and whatnot. But anyway, so this year I thought it was going to be the same way. Oh, heck no. This stuff flew like honey and I mean, it was just everywhere. Like, it it's was. still everywhere. Yeah, I don't know if because they switched to cans this year, maybe they increased their volume. I, I don't know. I don't know. I know a lot of people say it's hype, it's overhyped, and you know, it depends on what you think of the beer. If you feel like it's one of the best double IPAs out there, then yeah, it probably is overhyped. If it's just a solid double IPA, you know, a honey, nice sweet double IPA, triple IPA, whatever mm -hmm. you call it, then yeah, it is still solid, I think, but uh, depends on how good you think it is, if it's overhyped or not. That's right. But anyway, let's get into them. All right, let's do it. So how do they look? They look, they're both wow. I mean, almost identical, they're clear. Little, very clear, maybe slightly darker on the high res. I agree, a little lighter, slightly, little lighter for the hop slam, yeah, but uh, barely. I mean, yeah, you might be able to make that out, but that's unbelievably close. So let's get the nose. Yeah, let's do it. So starting at high res. Mm. Yeah, you just get that honey sweetness. You get a little honey sweetness, and maybe a. Mm. I'm not sure if I get a little resinous hops. Yeah, but I was gonna say a little pineyness to little it. Bit. Just it's a, it's a hint, but. You know, a little bit of maltiness, honey, mm -hmm. uh, sweetness with a little bit of piney slash resin resinous. Okay. Swirl a little bit. Yeah, okay. Very similar to me. Gosh. I get a little more malt out of the hop slam. Yeah, I agree. But I, I would say they're very close. Yeah, they're, they're um, absolutely. I get a little resinous hops, I think. Yeah. But I don't get much honey out of the hop slam. Do you? Mm -hmm. I get a little no. sweet smell, but not much honey aroma. Yeah, but if I'm going back and forth with my eyes closed, like they smell so they similar. Do. I they mean, do. it's really close. All right. Very subtle differences. I agree. Uh, high res first. High res. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like that. That is really good. Up but front, my, I mean, it's sweet. Yeah, it's got a little sweetness to it. It's not overly sweet, but that's no, the first thing I that's get. That's the first too. thing I get. Yep. Uh, a little creaminess uh, to the mouthfeel and uh, a little bit of piney, a little bit of resinous there um, are my overall initial impressions. Do you get a little booziness though? I mean, it's 10.5, so I feel like I get a little bit. A little bit. I'm taking small sips. Yeah. It's, you know, pretty decent temperature, probably 50 ish. Mm -hmm. um, Good drinking temperature. That's a great temp for, for IPAs. Um, I get just a, a little bit of honey, not yeah. a large amount of honey. And then it kind of it, it, it little kind of fades off in the back though. It I mean, does. It, it doesn't really have a big kick at the end. I mean, I was kind of hoping for a little more in the end, but what about bitterness though? I mean, for 115 IBU, it just it doesn't taste that bitter to me. No, it must be the just balance from sweetness. From I guess. the sweet uh, sweetness and the malts trying to get up to that 10.5 uh, percent. I don't. I wouldn't have guessed 115 IBUs. I mean, I get some bitterness kind of, the more sips I take on the back end, I mean, I get a little bitterness, but I would have never guessed it was 115. But overall, pretty good. Yeah, it's great. Let's get in the hop slam. Hop slam. Cheers. Cheers. So I get a little more honey sweetness out of that. Yeah, a little more maltiness to it. Mm -hmm. A little, a little more, more honey sweetness. I agree. 
But I remember Hop Slam last year just being so much honey that it was, I thought it was too much honey. Um, this I think is, I think it's better than last year's was. So it's called Hop Slam. Yeah, but there's not a lot of hops. <laughs> Should okay. be honey slam. <laughs> well, last year it should have been. So, what kind of hops do we get? A little bit of resinous, a little I bit of pineapple. I get more resinous. Uh, so this mild. I get more bitterness. I get well as much bitterness out of this as I do high red. I can't perceive a difference. Yeah, I can't either. I mean, if you like, you say you may you may think or you may say it's more, but like they're so close. But I, you know, we're talking seventy to one fifteen, so forty five in difference, and I can't perceive a big. Yeah. You may like you said it might be a little. Maybe a little bit less. Yeah. I, if you were to put them blind and say which one has more bitterness, I think I'd probably pick out the high res, but it's not yeah, a I big glaring difference. But there is slightly yeah. more bitterness to this. And part one. of you know carbonation on that bat, you know, part of that gives a little bit of a, a perceived bitterness as well. That kind of kick on your tongue. But um, I get some resinous yeah. flavor. But as far as a hop slam. Um, There's a new definition of hop slam. That's right. I think this might have been a hop slam, but I don't know. Everything evolves, and uh, gosh, right now it's, there's a new definition. I mean, you've got like dank, resinous West Coast IPAs yeah. from the West Coast, and then also from the East Coast. You know, we had some Wicked Weed stuff. It's just oh, freaking yeah. blown us away with some dank stuff. And then you've got some massive tropical hops from the Northeast. Massive. Big, I mean, juicy. just. And so when you call yourself Hop Slam, it's just, I don't know. I don't you think you can deliver. do that. I don't think you can do that. It's a good beer. It's sweet. It's nice. It's, it's, I enjoy drinking it. I admit, I wanted to just, I, I wanted to slam this beer and say it sucks. And I, I, I can't do that. I, I'd still enjoy this beer. Um, it was available to me. We split a four pack initially. I ended up going back and getting more. I liked yeah. it that much. Well, because we weren't sure if they'd have more. Right, and, right, right. And, and uh, uh, one of our local places in Lexington, I mean, they still have like three cases. Yeah. Hmm, that's not going to last. No. It's gonna and high res. Probably. Phenomenal. I love high res. It's a great beer. Um, yeah, I think their high res and their resin are two of my favorite beers that they make. As far as how I like to drink these, once a year. I'm about a once a year, maybe twice a year. But see, I would drink this one year round. I mean, I know it's available year round, but this one, I would, I don't know if I'd seek it out year round, but I'd be fine drinking it because it's such a good beer. But how often would you seek it out is what I'm saying. Um, like now that you've had a, a four pack of it, when's the next time? Like if, if it was fresh, high res, when, I mean, I know you can't predict, but when, when would be the next time you think, all right, I'm due for another high res. I think I want one yeah, or a four pack. Well, let's put it to you this way. Um, Hop Slam, I wasn't really craving as of, you know, November or December. I knew it was coming around the corner and come January, February, I thought, yeah, it's about high res or about Hop Slam season. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. So about once a year for that one. But this one, I mean, every few months, I'd be willing to grab a four pack of this. Really? I'm more like a six month. Six month? I'm a semi-annual. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I. Hey, it's okay. There you're, are so you're entitled many. to your wrong opinion. It's all right. <laughs> but there are so many great beers out there. It's, yeah. That's what I'm saying. No, like, you're right. Um, heck, we've had some great uh, pipe works. We have. IPAs, double IPAs, have nice honey character to them. And nice. But those are harder to get. I got to pay a well, lot of shipping know. to get those. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, you get them and I drink them. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so let's do ratings. All right, so ratings. Yeah. And, and I don't. I honestly didn't look, it's been a long time since I rated either of these, so I can't remember what I rated them, so I'm kind of doing this fresh. Mm -hmm. um, high res, uh, Hop Slam, I'd give a 425. I don't know if I'd pay extra for it, but I like it. It's a great beer. High res, I'd, I'd probably rate it the same. I'd probably give it a 425. They're both 425. They're equal and indistinguishable to me. I mean, they do have subtle differences in their character. But as far as um, as far as big differences, there are none for me. They they taste so alike that uh, they're interchangeable, and I like them both. Four two five. Uh, I enjoy them. I drink them. Like them. I get more of them, and uh, wouldn't pay extra for them. So, or trade extra. Do you remember 
hop slam from last year? Do you remember thinking that it was more honey than this year? I, I wonder if they've changed the recipe or if there's anything different or if it's just our perception because we've started reviewing beers and drinking a lot of really big juicy. Well, I think your palate memory is way better than mine because I don't remember a lot of things about beer. I mean, I'm just starting to now get better at that. I mean, I still am relatively new into all this. And so, no, <laughs> I rarely remember something like, this year's Bourbon County is probably like the most fresh, memorable beer I've ever had. Oh yeah, it is. But uh, <laughs> but as far as a lot of other stuff that I've had, I guess I just had I don't have a quite the palate memory and quite the uh, the volume of work to, to remember all. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> and, uh, uh, I just talking about your palate memory. Oh, my palate memory. Okay, not the volume. Uh, not of the work. volume of work. But anyway. Um, so no, I don't remember. I, I can't honestly tell you how I compare this to that one. Gotcha. What about you? Do you think it was better this year? I thought it was better because I thought it was just less honey, but again, it may just be that I remember it different. I mean, that was a year ago. It's yeah. hard to remember a year yeah. ago. I know. But both good. We're both giving it uh, both 425s. Four two fives for both. Uh, phenomenal beers. Um, I would say, you know, not, I guess I use the word phenomenal a lot. I mean, they're great. Really good beers. They're, they're really good. Well done. Um, just know what you're getting into. But this one, at least on the East Coast, you should be able to get um, year round. And so try it. I, we figure you'll like it as much as Hopsland. Absolutely. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.